Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing some more polishes from my untried bin of polishes. So today's brand is called LA Colors. I have six gorgeous, gorgeous colors to share with you. If you'd like to see my thoughts and opinions in regards to these colors, stay tuned. The first color that I have to share with you guys from my untried stash is LA Colors Dizzy. So Dizzy is a clear based gold glitter um, regular nail polish. It's got some hex glitters and some very very finer glitters. I believe that this should be used over a base but I think you could build it up too. I'll have to try it and see but it is still very pretty. Hopefully the glitter payoff gets better with um, the second coat. So this is Dizzy with a third coat. As you can see, you really get some nice glitter payoff with a third coat. Had it been more dense, it would have been a bit easier. But then if it was a bit more dense, there's that chance that it would have been too overpowering. So this is meant to be used as a topper, but it's still really pretty with three coats. And here's what Dizzy looks like against my skin tone. So as you can see, it is more of a topper polish, but it is still very pretty. And it actually would go good over a lot of colors. So the next color I have to share with you is called Edgy. Look at how beautiful this purple is. So this is the first coat of Edgy. I am kind of disappointed with the application. I was expecting it to be a bit better. Hopefully I can get better coverage with the second coat. But as you can see, it's already starting to dry down matte as well. This is a really nice, deep, like vampy purple color. But again, it is streaky and the application is a bit difficult with the first coat. Here is edgy at three coats so as you can see it really did build nicely with three coats so maybe maybe there's hope for this one after all <laughs> but as I said it is such a gorgeous purple guys here we have edgy against my skin tone you guys know that I love this color like it's such a beautiful like eggplant color it actually turned out nice although it did apply a bit sheer and streaky I was glad that it built up as nicely as it did. The next color that I have to share is called Force. So Force is an orange coppery type of polish and it does have a metallic finish. It is really pretty and I, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's fully built up. And here we have Force with three coats. As you can see, it built very nicely to full opacity with that third coat. And it really brings this color to life. It is so, so beautiful, guys. And this is Force against my skin tone. Such a pretty orangey, coppery color. Funny enough, I actually really do like this against my skin tone. This is a really nice color. We're halfway through now, guys. So this one is called Fuel. This looks like a really pretty pink. So this is a bright, mm, a bright vivid pink and it has some really nice shimmer going through it. But I will say just like Edgy, it did apply a bit more on the sheer side. I'm hoping I can get it built up to at least two coats so it can be more opaque. But it is still a really nice color. So far I will say it seems like all the first coats of all these polishes are more on the sheer side.
And here is Feel with the third coat. Again, another beauty that built up really nicely after those first two iffy coats that we had going on there. Definitely, definitely need three coats to help bring this to life and give it this magnificent color. And this is Fuel against my skin tone. Look at how opaque that became. So although, like, what I'm realizing is although it these colors did have more of a sheer application, once you got them built up, they were really opaque. The second last color I have to share with you guys is called In A Flash. This looks like a really nice blue, but it also looks like it might be on the watery side. So this is a very nice blue. I will say I think it might be one of those polishes that has that jelly formula so you could do like a jelly sandwich kind of um, manicure with it but this one I will say applied a lot better than the first four and I really really like that it is such a pretty blue especially with spring right around the corner and here we have in a flash so remember I was saying it seemed like it was a jelly to me, but it actually isn't. It built a lot better than I was expecting. With a jelly polish, you get more of like that see-through um, aspect. But yeah, this one was a bit more full coverage. I love this blue though. It is so beautiful. And this is in a flash against my skin tone. I adore this blue. It is so pretty and perfect for the upcoming spring and summertime. And the last color I have to share with you is called Magnetic Force. So this is a very... It's a bright orange. I wouldn't call it a neon, but it is pretty bright. It has some corally undertones to it, and it has very nice gold shimmer going through it. So this is one of those colors that will dry down to a matte finish. The application wasn't too bad, but I will be going in with a second coat. And last but not least, we have Magnetic Force in three coats. I could have probably stopped that too, but I decided since I was doing three for all of them, might as well go in with three for this one. So beautiful. This is such a nice like fall orange or transitioning from summer to fall. I mean, really and truly you could wear it anytime, but it is really, really pretty. And lastly, this is Magnetic Force against my skin tone. This is such a bright orange. It is so much fun. And here we have it for my untried LA Colors nail polishes. So let me know, guys, what do you think? Did you have a favorite? Honestly, this is a really good brand for those that may not be nail techs or that are more interested in just doing, like, regular nail polish designs rather than gels or anything like that and if you have young children i could see them getting some use out of these colors as well my only thing is with glitters they're a pain in the butt to take off they really are when you're using regular nail polish so they're pretty to use but difficult to come off obviously i absolutely love this purple love it and i really like the pink and this one too so like these well, I have to include the blue so these four are my favorite <laughs> as always guys thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos please do give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and as always stay glamorous